So this was the project that we decided to do for our intro class. Uh, you can see in our design process we got together at the library and just wanted to get a few ideas put on the table. So we spitballed a couple things, came up with about three ideas. There's a marble slide that we liked, a uh, catapult, and there was also a coin sorter. But we decided to go with the catapult. So you see a little prototype that we had built here. Uh, then we decided to go on with the building process. We picked up some wood and PVC pipe from Home Depot. Uh, you can see us putting it together and having a little jam session right here. Uh, this was by far the most brutal part of the process. Uh, we were able to get it all put together though. Uh, and this is our first bit right here where we hadn't really made any upgrades to it, but uh, we got the basic concept down. So. You can see in just a moment that we're going to be testing it, seeing how far it goes, how accurate it is. Uh, we weren't super happy with the re results that we were getting at this point. It was uh, very lackluster from uh, what we wanted in our envisionings. So you can see it went right into the pool there. So we, we had to get rid of that. More testing. Uh, we got Raider the dog in there. So, upgrade time. We decided to put in a little back pouch for stability. We added a string so that it would be a little bit more consistent going up. And we added right, more springs going. to give us more power. So, we could shoot that ball all the way across the pool now. Uh, yep. But unfortunately, in our testings, disaster struck. Uh, we ended up actually breaking our PVC pipe. And as you can see in the video here, we're all little upset this was a pretty big setback um, as you can see the top bit just came clean off uh, so we had a couple more things that we had to do before it was ready for the final test it's a uh, real unfortunate there that's not good so you can see we had some band-aid repairs we threw a whole lot of duct tape around that thing uh, a lot of zip ties as well just to keep it secure bit more duct tape after that. I think it was secure enough for us to keep on going forward. So we decided to go forward. Uh, we started measuring out how far uh, we were gonna do it. We realized we could get about 30 feet with it, which is a lot more distance than we were expecting. Uh, we used this dish here, which is about two feet in diameter uh, to test our thing. It's a little bit bigger than we wanted, but it we went a lot further than we got it. So here's a couple tests. Uh, it's all going pretty well. We just weren't really getting the consistency that we wanted. Uh, as you can see, we missed a fair share of times. And uh, yeah, we have a couple more takes. We were able to narrow down uh, where we wanted to aim it. So we we're getting it very consistent towards the end. But uh, we were a little upset towards the end because we were outside for quite some time trying to get this thing to work. Uh, there's the first hit. Got a second one coming up. And at this point, this is the furthest we had gotten, so uh, tensions were a little high. And on the third hit, ah! again. <laughs> no! So. Uh, we decided to just aim it up a little bit more. We got it to hit one more time. Uh, we All we needed to get was three in a row, and then we'd make our criteria. Uh, two times in a row, going really well, having a lot of fun, very cold outside, not enjoying ourselves until we hit it third time's the charm. We were very happy. We worked very hard on this project. Uh, we got it all put together. We have a little bonus round here put together at the very end, uh, just for your enjoyment. We were just having fun at this point. We decided to fill three balls in, uh, didn't really do much, but eh, we were happy. So enjoy the project. Thanks.